this one, we're going to start looking at a different type of diagram. Now, I'm showing you a wiring diagram, not a schematic. But this one uses an integrated furnace control on a two-stage gas furnace. The sequencing of something like this is, is much different than the sequencing that I've done in earlier uh, videos. This one requires that you understand how the integrated furnace control operates. If you don't know how it operates, it's almost impossible to sequence this thing. So it gets a little bit more complicated. Now I recommend if you're going to look at this thing, you better look at this thing on full screen. This is an actual diagram of a furnace that came out of a service fact uh, um, pamphlet. And they're not real easy to read. They can be pretty tough. Now let's uh, Let's try to point out a few things. The most important part of this is the integrated furnace control. If you don't know what that thing is, it is an integrated furnace control. It controls the entire operation of the furnace. It controls the fan motor, it controls the inducer, the igniter, the gas valve. Virtually everything on this furnace is controlled by that integrated furnace control and you need to understand how it sequences. Now this one, let's take a look at a few places here. The integrated furnace control right there. There's also a little bit of a fan control. This has an ECM fan motor on it and so it has wiring there you're not going to be able to actually sequence. We can only sequence uh, how this thing operates and how it interacts with everything else. But we do have a transformer right here and we have a vent motor, limit switch, two pressure switches right here and here, a gas valve, two-stage gas valve, An igniter, flame sensor, flame rollout switch, and another limit switch. Now the limit switches here, we only have, we have three limits in this thing. One of them, that's a flame rollout switch, so it's going to be located near the firebox actually on the firebox and this one here is going to be the limit that shuts it down if the temperature of the air passing by the heat exchanger gets too high. There's another one down here that's actually located on the vent motor so if it's the air coming out of the vent motor gets too hot it'll shut it off. So there's a few things like that. Now, what we were looking at before was the wiring diagram. Okay, that showed where everything was, what, where the wires went. Okay, here's a schematic. But you notice this schematic is <laughs> way different than a ladder diagram or any traditional uh, schematic diagram. Very different. But let's look it over. Okay, we do have a legend here. This is pretty nice. It tells you what these terminals or what these uh, symbols mean. And we've got uh, the abbreviations. And we've got a bunch of notes, most of which aren't terribly valuable, but some of them sometimes are. <clears throat> so if you have something like uh, CF, you can go over and find it on the... Uh, uh, on the schematic. Interestingly, uh, fan capacitor is not on this unit because it has a uh, ECM mode. So let's see if we can make some sense out of this. This one's obviously a lot simpler. The ICM uh, fan control is down here. It's not something you're going to deal with much uh, simply because uh, it's all electronic and uh, there's 
troubleshooting methods for these things, but we're not dealing with that here. We have terminals all along here. These are all the terminals that are hooked into the integrated furnace control. So, I mean, this, this whole thing is an integrated furnace control right here. It's right, you know, all along here. They all, all the sensors feed into this control and it determines what to do depending on what the sensors tell it. You got flame sensor, had that in the other one. Uh, we got some limit switches. We've got pressure switch, second stage pressure switch. We got the first stage pressure switch. We've got uh, the limit switch that's on the vent motor and so on, igniter, all the rest of that stuff. So how do we sequence something like this if we don't know how that integrated furnace control works? The answer pretty much is you can't. You can't sequence these the same as I sequenced that last diagram I did on uh, uh, because it had an ignition control, but it didn't have an integrated furnace control that controls everything. Now, one nice thing about these things that they uh, put into them right off was because you couldn't uh, dig inside the board, it would give you flashing codes. And the flashing codes, have, they've gotten better and better over the years uh, and more, uh, more specific as to what problem is going on in the furnace. So it, it kind of helps that they've gotten better and better. But the blinking code is pretty much going to tell you where you have to go. So the next one I'm going to do on this, I'm going to go over the codes and place them on this diagram. And let's see if we can figure out what any special code might mean. Because I know that if you have a code, it doesn't necessarily tell you what's wrong. It tells you where to look. So anyway, that's it on this one.